guys, it's me, Bren of BrenHaas.com, and today I updated one of my favorite recipes. It's a chicken vegetable noodle soup, and you won't want to miss this. It's super easy, and we're using a pressure cooker. In today's recipe, I'm using the Power Pressure Cooker XL 10 quarts, and I've got it plugged in, and we're going to go ahead and heat up the pot here. I usually set it on the meat setting, which is going to get this pot nice and toasty, and it's going to melt the ghee I just put in. So ghee is a clarified butter. I love it, and I share more about it on my website at brenhaas.com. It's really good. It really tastes very buttery, and that's what I like about it. Uh, in this recipe because I like the flavor of butter with the chicken and the noodles that I'm going to use today. As that ghee is coming to temperature, I'm going to share with you a shortcut. I'm using rotisserie chicken from that chicken I love to buy from Costco. That's about two cups of chicken shredded up here. I want to note, please be sure do not add your chicken bones and scraps to your compost pile. Keep it eggs and veggies and things like that. Looks like that clarified butter in the pressure cooker is ready to go. I'm going to carefully add the half a cup of sweet onion I diced up earlier to the pot and gently stir around and saute that before adding my celery and carrots. Be sure to use a rubber spoon or a wooden spoon so you don't scratch up the pot, of course. I love seeing that steam coming off, and I wish you could smell. It's very buttery, scented, and in goes the celery. We're going to gently work that in with the ghee and the onions. Okay, after shredding the chicken, I also took three good-sized carrots and shredded them using this handy-dandy accessory in my kitchen. Just love these. And in it goes, carefully. Look how great that chops it up. I'm going to add that to the celery, onions, and ghee, and gently stir that in a bit. We're not really going to let that cook down because that's what... The pressure cooker is going to do when we start this soup up. Next, I'm going to slowly start adding my four and a half cups of water to the mix. In today's recipe, I'm also adding that better than Boyan vegetable stock, just about a tablespoon of that. You don't have to do this because you will end up seasoning um, this. Basically, we've already got a vegetable stock going here. I just really love the flavor of this. Be very careful stirring that spoon in there not to scratch it on the pot. And I want to note adding that veggie uh, broth actually adds a little more sodium to it. Now we're going to carefully stir in that rotisserie chicken that we shredded up earlier. And I'm also using a wheat egg noodle, a German brand in the soup, about two cups. And in goes the poultry seasoning and a little bit of cayenne spice and of course, fresh ground pepper. We're gonna mix those ingredients together before taking the lid and adding it to the pressure cooker. Be sure to follow 
the manufacturer's directions on putting this lid on. It's really super easy. Just a little turn, but just check those directions. Okay, so now on the settings on the front, we're going to find the soup and stew setting. You just click it like this. Boop. And it's going to count down 10 minutes once the pressure is ready to go. This is what it does. Once it starts counting down, after 10 minutes, the soup will be ready. I was super busy today, so I let this sit for an extra 10 to 15 minutes before coming over and releasing it. And look, yum, it's soup time. So grab your favorite bowl and carefully ladle some of that chicken noodle and veggie soup out. Oh, this smells amazing. I can smell the buttery flavor, the onions and the poultry seasoning. Super yummy. I'm going to also chop off a little bit of the fresh parsley I have growing in my kitchen window to add to the top as a garnish. Well, it's not a garnish when you eat it, right? <laughs> Just a few little snips on top, and there it is. Doesn't this look awesome? Every spoonful has a little bit of onion, carrot, celery, chicken, and of course the noodles, because they're finely diced. Doesn't that look awesome? Can't wait to give it a taste. Here we go. Mmm. Delicious. There probably will not be any leftovers. And it was all made in my pressure cooker. Be sure to click over to my website at brenhaas.com to get the complete details. And connect with me on social media at brenhaas.com.